Hey guys, little impromptu video. Welcome to my hotel room in Las Vegas. This is the Luxor, hence we're kind of like in a pyramid here or on the edge. Um, I wanted to give you a little window into what's going on with me at the moment. So it's a little selfish video, but yeah, it's true. I have not played Street Fighter V seriously in the last five or six months. I've barely gone in and out just to purchase a character. I haven't even done Cody's story mode. I don't even know why he's there. Um, and that sucks, and I'm going to tell you why it's come to that. And it's this isn't a I hate Street Fighter Five video, you know. We'll do those after Evo. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, it's more about me losing touch with fighting games in general, uh, losing touch in regards to like my desire to play them, my desire to be competitive. And I realised that when I wasn't looking forward to Evo, when I was thinking, oh, you shit, I'm going to have to grind out all these interviews. And when I, what I really want to do is have some fun, play some games, chill with some people, connect, network, and do all that stuff that I haven't done for a long time because I'm always grinding from the second I arrive to the second I go. And, uh, and yeah, this happens to a lot of people apparently. It happens to streamers, it happens to a lot of people. At some point they go, wait a second, hold up, I'm not playing anymore. What the hell? So I am going to play this weekend. I'm going to go zero and two, can't wait. Um, I've entered Street Fighter and Unist and... Uh, um, you know, I actually enjoy playing Street Fighter Five as Akuma. Um, I think that's fun. I don't love watching Kami and Nakali players, but that's just me. Uh, but I'm excited at all of the new games. I've been particularly excited by some of the things Arxis have been doing. And even though Eunice is not really a new game, it's a new version of a game, I'm excited about that game and I want to play more of that. And I want to play more tag you know, get into tag games, that's a very specific skill set um, or, or, or something new that you have to learn in regards to, you know, using a system and that sort of stuff and, and a team and, um, you know, tag looks like fun. So anyway, that's what's going on with me. I just need to find, find that reconnection with fighting games and I wanted you guys to know and it will happen, it definitely will happen, it's just... I need to chill on the grind a little bit. You will get some interviews. I am going to do some th on Thursday, uh, but not a whole barrage or barrage of them. And uh, I guess the other thing that I wanted to do with this video was put out, put out a huge thank you to you guys for just supporting me, however you've done it, by commenting. I always appreciate comments. You know, it keeps you going as a content creator because you're sort of in a vacuum just doing your thing. Um, whether it be like monetary, my patrons, I adore you. Thank you so much. I actually lost quite a few because, I, you know, I've, uh, you know, I haven't been pushing out as much as I probably should. Um, but I did get a new patron, and his name is Phil. So welcome, Phil. So that's awesome. Um, and I got the opportunity at Defend the North to do be much more relaxed. I finally had a, somebody else dealing with production, a cameraman. I had a lavalier mic, so I could have a more conversational style. So hopefully. Maybe in the future I can collaborate with more people, or maybe in the future I can use some money from Patreon to get some lavalier mics. Uh, uh, we'll see, we'll see. That would be interesting. Uh, we'll be streaming, that's another big thing, uh, Born Free Twitch. So follow me there, and um, y you know we'll do, an, we'll, do an ask, we'll do an AMA to kick it off. In fact, I think all streams will be pretty much AMAs anyway. And I'll give you some of the stories behind the scenes of some of my interviews and stuff like that. Uh, if you're at Evo, please do come say hello to me. I really enjoy talking to people. That's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to go oh and 2 Jesus Christ. I didn't even bring a fight stick. I need to buy one. Um, and uh, But I just want to reconnect with the community and, and have fun. And I'm really excited now. You know, I was kind of dreading Evo, and that's what made me concerned about how I was feeling. And now I'm really excited about Evo. Uh, now, as for future content, you guys know I do interviews, but you also know if you've stuck around, you know I do skits, you know I do news items, you know I do podcasts, collaborations, I do reviews, I do reactions, I do gameplay, um, I do tutorials, I do points of view, vlogs, speculation, whatever. So please do hit me up in the comments down below and let me know what kind of stuff you'd love to see in the future. Uh, because I can do it all, you know I can, right? Um, I'm pretty confident about that at least, and uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just looking forward to this weekend. I might, might do a meet and greet, because um, 
uh, UIU had suggested maybe I should that they would that they're, they're helping people do meet and greets right where people I guess your your supporters can come and meet you and talk to you uh, in a specific place at a specific time um, rather than you know having to jump in during a I, I, don't, I don't really know I, to be honest like I'm I'm like my reaction to that was like I don't think I'm really that at that level but if people want to do that that's I might do it I might do it fuck it why not something to do right um, so excited for Evo w want to get my hunger back for actually playing and competing and um, and then we'll you know when I start streaming I can do more and more of that you know because I just want to get better at the games that's I think was at the heart for all of us isn't it really like playing the games anyway that was the vlog <laughs> vlog whatever the fuck it's called and uh, I'll see you guys very soon and thank you so much for supporting the channel peace out